It's that early, early morning. We're headed to the airport. On today's episode of Watch JR Go, Chicago with legit street cars. All right, let me know. Have fun. All right. Goodbye. I love you, baby. Not Eric, my truck. What is going on, guys? I am Watch JR Go, and today we are here at the airport in Wichita ready to hop on a flight to Chicago to go hang out with legit street cars. That was pretty good timing. We got through in three minutes. So I hopped on all of those planes to get here in Chicago to hang out with Alex from Legit Street Cars. What's up guys? And we are here at Copart. We're gonna walk around today and check some stuff out just to see what Copart has. We're driving around. Well, okay, driving We're around in around. style. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I've never done a Copart walk around, so this will be the first one and I'm excited to see what, what's here. Yeah. But last time I just like bought something and had never even been to a Copart before and just figured it all out. Dude, I made a list. We have some very, very interesting cars to check out. We have an awesome. AMG with the engine and drivetrain taken apart and scattered all over the place. Crazy. It's going to be cool. All right. Well, uh, Holly gave me masks. So here, have a mask. Yes, I we, mine. We got to go inside. So <laughs> this should work out. We are here at Copart Chicago, which Alex just told me is one of the biggest Coparts in the world. And I saw a picture and that's definitely true. It goes on as far as the eye can see. It's just cars. But this bro truck that we just walked up to is amazing. What a cool truck. Uh, so it's on American Forces and they look all right, but it has the King dual res suspension bagged. And this is a Kelderman air suspension system. Look at those like ladder bars. That is nuts. Amp steps. This thing is set up. This is like the right setup because it's not like an obnoxiously high or anything. Oh, man. oh yeah, it's loaded too. Ooh, getting it, dirty. it did have everything. Oh, what's that? Oh, the, the amp steps. They have to be plugged in the OBD. Really? Yeah, because they that's how they pick up the door and turn on the lights and stuff now. Oh, on, there's gotta be some. <laughs> you really think it'll start? Uh, it's a really clean truck. I don't know what's wrong with it. Has this thing been hit at all? Oh. This didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it is a rear steer, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm just kidding. It's, <laughs> it's just jacked. It got pegged right in the corner and just crushed all of the, the bags broke. Wait, hang on, like this is total. This isn't that bad. This is not bad at all. It clearly needs like a bedside and an axle. See, this is a case of an insurance company just being freaked out because something is yeah. Because look at that, quote unquote. It destroyed the the mount on this air suspension bar on the lock. Yeah, you're totally right. The insurance company was like, I don't know what to do. Total it. There is no damage here. It ripped the bag. It ripped a couple little things. This is gonna sell for crazy money though. Yeah. This is gonna bring forty grand. And we got a ladder right here. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, they did everything. WC fab. Intake, nice. coolant pipes, charge pipe. Wait, is that a factory turbo? <laughs> that is an insane turbo. That's big, man. Yeah, I don't know if that's factory. I don't know either, but it looks huge. It does. Dual nice. batteries. I'm going to keep saying that forever until people stop <laughs> until, commenting about it. Until it starts. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really nice lift, too. I love this. Uh, the air suspension has a little like leveling thing. Yeah. I really think it's a fully adjustable ride height system instead of just like helper bags. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The springs are gone. Yeah, it's adjustable ride yeah, height. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Man, that's cool. Every single one of these cars is basically brand new, but it looks like the apocalypse just hit. Like that's a 
per, basically what two year old Range Rover. Rover. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You know, that thing would have been total accident or not, though. They're so, it would have. It would so have. So unreliable. And so much to fix. This is crazy. Ooh, this might be one of the... They have two S65s. There's a Kia Fire back there that burnt through the hood. That was kind of cool. Let me take a look at this Porsche real quick. Flood. Big sad. Those wheels kind of look cool. Good tires. Do you still have yours? Oh yeah, I still have mine. We're about to do a whole big series. I actually planned on fixing mine and getting rid of it. It was supposed to be a flip and then it was amazing. Oh, cool. Does it interior? smell bad? Wow, look at the interior, it's nice. It does smell like water a little bit, but it is no, super no, nice. Dude, this is just old Porsche smell. No, this is a little mildewy. Yeah, my Porsche doesn't smell like that. But look at how nice the interior it's is. It's super nice. This car is clean, it was taken care of. Old Alpine system it that's like seven, period correct. 73,000 technically it says there. This is a well optioned car. So these things are really slow, right? Yeah, it's really slow. <laughs> very, very slow. But it's oddly like really enjoyable to drive. All right, something was done. Oh, I guess two, a retrofit. A lot of the stuff looks new. Oh yeah, AC retrofit. Yeah. I mean, the engine's in good shape. I don't know if there's anything wrong with this car. So like, these are all probably dead, but like this has keys. <sighs> Try to start it. There's a first-gen Prius here, and I was like, oh, check it out, a first-gen Prius. Alex was like, yeah, it was totaled for rock chips. That's all you need to total a first-gen <laughs> Prius. Rock chips. Okay. And maybe somebody punches your window out. But look at how thorough this inspection is. This inspection's wild. These are not even dense. Like, there's nothing there. I mean, you need to know what you're buying when you're buying a first-gen Prius. You, wow, it's super nice inside. And it's got power, I think. It's only got 150,000 miles on The battery it. is definitely working too. Oh, Fire nice. it up. Let's go drive this around. It's running. Oh, it's running. Look at I'm, Dude, this is unreal. That is wild. Wow. The Prius is crazy, man. Huh. The technological marvel. I want this. <laughs> This is pretty interesting. This ran six months ago. There's Did there's it? a few cars at this auction that I check on every once in a while. They've been here for so long. I doubt it runs now though. It's gotta be dead. Yeah, it's dead. It's got a cool wrap, that's for sure. It definitely has a Except done this. Exhaust. This is terrible. Yeah. I don't know if the rest of it is cool. Like, did they think I was gonna last? Wow. Yeah, this has been sitting for a long time. But look at the speakers though. Does it have the... Uh, Look at this. Oh yeah, wow, they have fiberglass them in, they're yeah. JL and... Like someone spent some serious they did. coin Oh, there, what? You know? It has center kick pods? Yeah. That is crazy. And more JL. Huh. I wonder what amp's hiding in here. Three, like six by nines or something. Wait a minute. Who does that? It's got Pioneers back here and they're like the cheap Walmart line Pioneer. And up there, they're like the yeah. nice JL components. They did not. They 100% did. did. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then JL 6x9s, four JL 6x9s in the rear. Those look great. I am very confused by these Pioneers. So we're not giving up on this monster. We are going to jump it. Alex is bringing over the supercharged. Super LS. <laughs> yeah. When in doubt, the LS will actually work and the Hellcat will let you down. There's lights. Oh no, she's upset. She is upset. It does. Uh, what's. I'm gonna open the trunk. Hey, look at that. Where's the system at? We have Gucci bags. <laughs> and a Charlotte Hornets hat. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I got it in the trunk. Uh, but no amplifiers. What? Ah. Uh, what? Where's the sub? I'm so confused. This one little piece of junk, two channel amp, cannot be running the car. But wait, where's the sub? They just took it all. I bet, uh, when it got totaled, they ripped everything out of here. But they didn't, wow. Okay. Do you see that? There's a, that's clearly an amp that can put out maybe like 200 watts because it's uh, one of the Chinese amps <laughs> that gets overrated by 4X. And it has four gauge wire running to it for some reason. Like, can we talk about the fact that oh, they- Oh look, they... here's more RCAs that are just, oh, yeah. that was probably to the system. Look at this, they left these. <laughs> they did leave some boots. That thing does sound good. That is impressive. Whoa. 
<laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. The abandoned Hellcat is awesome. This is a it's brand 20, new. It's got 22 miles on it. Yeah. I was like, it's got the new headlights. This is a brand new Panamera uh, 4S. Water, water flood damage. Oh, that yeah. explains they the. They took it apart. Oh, they did. They stripped wow. everything. It smells good. It smells like a brand new car, though. I don't know how they even got this totaled because it does smell like delicious leather. Yeah. Man, this has the nicest window switches and everything about this is amazing. I mean, look at this. It still has water. <laughs> it sure does. There's so <laughs> much water. It has that new infotainment that's like the best thing Porsche's ever done. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> That's my lot tour vehicle now. 22 miles and it's total. Won't it? I, I know. <laughs> this, there's no way this doesn't get saved. Oh, like there's yeah. really nothing wrong well, with and it. There's a very good possibility that it was a minor flood. Yes. But because it's brand new and it was still at the dealer, I mean, they can't do anything with it. Right, it's right. It's totaled by the dealer insurance and that's Look it. at that rear tire. It's, it's only a 4S, it's got 315. I just wow. saw like. That's Jeez. my whole arm is that tire. Can you believe this is not the turbo? This isn't the turbo. Yeah. I mean, it is turboed now, but it's not the good one. This is just a yeah, normal like Panamera. Normal <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. The 2.9 twin turbo V6 that makes a stupid amount of horsepower. Like, what does it make? I have no idea. I don't know. Probably close to four, four and a half. Yeah. Okay. And here we have, oh, is this the two year? Oh no, this is the new Panamera hybrid. So, yeah, this is the brand new one. It's alive too. Uh, so they originally made the hybrid for like two years and then quit, and then they brought it back. Wait, is this a brand new car? Yeah, this is like a 19 or a 2020. Yeah, well, no, I'm okay. No, it has some miles, but it. Oh, so not like another yeah. brand new. It came with a brand new garage door opener. E power. Oh, of course it's running. It's yeah, just it's on. In, yeah, uh, you just can't only. hear anything. Here, right, here if go. you put it in, are you, are you in I'm in, park? I'm in drive now. Maybe this should start the engine. Oh, oh spoiler. Let's push buttons. Oh, it nice. works. Wait, so I'm in first gear. Well, the spoiler works. That's all that counts. That's all that counts. Yes. Yeah. We got a business jet. It's a 9.5 Aero, too. Oh, I love the seats. How they're, they're so good. They're so soft. Man. Uh, look at this. This is funny. Oh yeah, you can't reach I the can't ignition. Reach the ignition. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> <laughs> they needed a longer zip tie. I almost want to buy this because my cup holder is still broke, <laughs> and I could use the part. Jalousie's broken, as as is all nine fives. Oh, this is a vandalism car. Oh, They're, dude, vandalism cars are crazy because sometimes you don't see anything actually wrong with them. Except this Heck. one did get like at least a window well, broke. Well, they yeah they broke out a couple windows, but. And it's an M Sport car, maybe? It is an M Sport 7 Series. Battery's good. Like, whenever I see vandalism, I'm, I'm looking for it to be key. Yeah, this could be fixed easy. Unless they did something like put oh. some in the gas tank or well, whatever. Except, yeah. Well, it has M Sport wheels, but this is the wrong wheel and it's got a bad tire. I'm confused. This looks like it was about to have BMW engine problems and they were like, vandalize the car. Let's get out of this car payment <laughs> yeah. real quick. This wheel ripped in half. Ripped in half. Like somebody tore it like Ooh, a piece I'm, of paper. I'm impressed. <laughs> That's nice. That's crazy. Do the brakes pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. I know all about brake jobs with the wheels on, right? <laughs> You're the only person I know that knows about brake jobs with the wheels yeah. on. So we found the power sports section, which is pretty cool. And I was like, this is interesting. I've never seen a single Riker in real life. I don't know that anyone buys them at all, let alone like five totaled ones. This is crazy. And this one is Gata wrapped, straight Gata. And that's all stitched up and everything. Are you gonna hop on? You gonna yeah, ride this yeah, thing? I just kinda wanna see what it feels This like. one got totaled because they were busy texting while they were riding. Wow, that is really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's not that totaled. This one's not that totaled. Interesting. Very interesting. This one's wrapped. I guess you gotta personalize your Riker because they all just look like Rikers. And this one's a, this must be the performance one. It's got scoops. It's got Ram Air intake. <laughs> nice. Scoops. Cool, look at all the valves. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> Little patina. It must have like plastic valve covers. Oh yeah. 
Look at the baby little cams in here. Cute little chain. Aww. That is. I what feel a, so bad for this little guy. Kind of cool to see. <laughs> Electric power steering. DPS. Man, that's a lot of total jet skis. This is a nice one. Is this a, a Wake Pro? How many horse? I can't. This is the big Wake Pro, this not the 215. Great. And it has the, the good system. This is nice. The 230, okay. So I think this is the biggest one with the wake tower on the back. I know nothing about these, but what totals these? Like this one was hitting the front yeah, a little that bit. That thing's but gone. That's it, okay. Somebody, somebody was. That's, uh, a, that, that's done, that's it. Somebody had a little too much fun out on the lake and slammed into another boat Like, probably. Is it that expensive to, to? Or the hole is so integral that you have to total the thing. Okay. So the old ones didn't have this phone holder. And when I'm jumping them, I'm always worried that my phones get, the, I've had this fly open once. I'm always worried my phone's gonna fly out. Oh, yeah. And whatever, that would ruin your day. Also, one of my life goals is to go ride a fast snowmobile. I've never done it. And I've also never seen one at a co park because we don't have anything like this. Look what we found an old school Rolls Royce. Wow, that is so cool. Look, it still has the spirit, and the spirit is all that matters. <laughs> you just live in the lap of luxury. Man, that's sad that it got destroyed, destroyed. Man, that thing got hit everywhere. It's a 1961. 61 rolls. Oh, look at that. Man. Wow. It's a right-hand drive car. Somebody put a system in it. It smells just like mine inside. Real wood. Oh yeah, they're all real wood, that's for sure. And you gotta love that speedometer that sweeps backwards. No way. Oh yeah, like that way. Wow. Yep. And then uh, all of this is exactly the same as mine. Like none of the ignition has ever changed. What year is yours? Uh, 79. And this is the same in mine, but that's that stuff's different. Found the mirrors? Yes. These uh, armrests are really cool, but they're usually stuck. And this one's not stuck. This one's in really good condition. I don't know if it's a switch or a lighter in the mirror in the back. Oh my God, dude, look at this. It's, no way. These are like the greatest cars, man. I love mine. I love mine. If this thing wasn't wrecked, how much would it be? Like in decent condition. I mean, if it was clean, I don't know, 30,000 maybe. These are cigarette lighters. That is so People cool. People loved to smoke back in the day. <laughs> they just love it. This smells just like all of them too. And these seats are like super cushy, like wonderful seats. I want a daily something like this and not say a word about it. Yeah. Like if anyone ever came up to me like, nice car, I'd be like, I don't know, it's just a good deal. It's just a, it was the same price as a Corolla yeah. or a Camry, so <laughs> it's no big deal. Um, do you like F-bodies? I love F-bodies. You have an F-body. F-bodies are life. Look at this. A convertible non-Z28. It says it's an SS. It says it's an SS. It's got the hood. Looks wrong to me. Is that an LT? It's got an LT1 in it. Yes, it's an LT1 This is a car. super fake clone. Yes. You gotta love when people like just completely fake it. Those are your old yep, taillights. Yep, yep, yep. And they put SS badges on it. That's hilarious. Yeah. I've never seen chrome failure that bad. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. That is really nice. <laughs> really nice chrome <laughs> failure there. Yep. <laughs> I think you're right. It looked like the front end might have been swapped. Yeah. No, no, no. This is the lower. I can't tell. I changed those on mine to be clear. I love my clear ones. Wait, the fuel lines have been patched. I've never seen that before. Huh. Dude, you know how long this has been here? This has been here for Look ever. at the sticker. It's never gonna sell because it's only worth it's like- It's a 94 Z28. $200. Isn't yours a 94? Yeah, mine's a 94. Every single thing is broken. Like there's not a straight panel in the car. Yeah, it's been here for a year and a half. Wow. Yeah. This thing is trash. Dude, it smells delicious. Look, it's got tobacco. It does. But it smells just like a normal S550. It's got the good leather smell. Yes, yes. They all smell, you know, if, I could be blindfolded in a few cars and tell oh, you what it is. You 100%. Know? If you get in a Mercedes, a nice Mercedes, you know what the leather yeah. smells like. Found the problem. <laughs> they probably hit the control module for the oh, yeah. air. There's the air pump. Huh. Cool. This is worth nothing. No, it, that would be a nothing. bad, bad deal if you got in into In mint that. condition now, these are like seven grand. Yeah. It's a shame. Yeah, that's a 700. <laughs> now that is an interesting Copar find. I, I feel like these are all reproductions, right? Because if it's a real one, yeah, it's got like a nerdy wheel and stuff, but it's, I don't know. So I don't know enough about these old Porsches. It's clearly like a VW engine. I think what we have to do is see what these guys had to say. 
Kit car. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they have to be kit cars because if they're real, they're worth like, I don't know, half a million dollars or something, million dollars. I don't know the old Porsches, but man, That's it's it. beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Definitely not worth rebuilding <laughs> because it caught on fire because it's a Volkswagen engine. That's what happened. That's normal. The Volkswagen DNA killed it. Normal operation. Huh. 1600. Crazy, crazy. What a cool car though. They, they're just beautiful. I feel like this was just imported too with this Prospect import sticker on the back. So it's a 93. So what would be the ruling there? Is it 25 years? Yeah. So a couple years ago would have been. I'm trying to think there. of how old the R32 is and how it's importing, right? Because the R33 can be imported. So I would think that this can be imported. Yeah, yeah. I think we're up yeah. to. 93 or 94. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, super cool. Right-hand drive Supra. Super cool seats. It's just super cool. It's so super cool. It's, it's super. <laughs> it's a super Supra <laughs> of superness. <laughs> right here we have the Enthusiast Fiesta, which honestly looks really cool in orange and has the good wheels. I mean, you want everybody to know you have a Fiesta ST with this color. Orange. Yes. It's cool. Look at the seats. Yep, it's got, got the cool seats and everything. The Recaros. This is a high option car, I think. Yeah. Look, somebody liked it so much they got on eBay and put Ford covers over the door strikers. Wow. I did not know that existed. AT&T dumped their whole fleet at once. I, I Wouldn't they sell those instead of just dumping them at Copart? I guess they just use Copart to sell them. Yeah. Crazy. Never satisfied. Until you hit the crowd, then you're good. Okay, we got to make one quick pass through the motorcycles. Just be, I, I couldn't not do it. I was like, we could skip those, but we can't. So this is like a VTX 1300. Uh, I had the Fury version of this bike and I loved it to death. It was amazing. That one's got some crazy uh, sound system on there. I'd love to see what's under all the covers. It must be all the like nice sport bikes. I like how there's a Ducati, like <laughs> a V4 or something that they just kicked over. It's exactly how they found it. Yeah, a 959. So it's a quick shifter and everything, but like it's trashed on every single side. Like the shifter's crushed and every, man, that is nuts. That's not something you see every day. Uh, wow, how? What is happening here? Well, the front end got like slammed into something. Like, like it just, looks really cool. Though. It looks so cool. It looks like the bike from like Tron or something. Yes, yes. It looks like a light cycle. Like, this should be an option. That is amazing. <laughs> if you could ride it like that, you'd have the coolest bike ever. This is cool. Yeah. It's lower. Straight out of any movie you want right yeah. after that. <laughs> uh, anything else in here cool? You got a V-Star, a naked Yamaha over there. Harley, Harley, Harley. This is like Harley land and cruisers because we got some Indians. This is like a lowered CBR. I think that might be a bag CBR right here. It clearly has uh, stock forks up front, so maybe it's wrecked. But it's like so low. Dude, the suspension's, oh, it, it ripped open the uh, the block where that you uh, use to adjust the ride height is just destroyed. So it just looks cool because it got destroyed. We got a Yamaha Venture here. My grandpa and my dad had matching Ventures that we grew up with and we rode all over the country. First on like 88 Ventures because they cost nothing and then they got these Ventures and now my brother rides my grandpa's and uh, this thing's a beast. They literally never die. This one clearly just got totaled. This has the good engine, the, the much bigger engine in the later gens. And here we have just insanity. As far as you can see, insanity here. Is that not wild? There's so many motorcycles. I'll make one quick pass. What is with the cool Ducatis? The A4A Evo with the nice, the factory brushed finish and everything. This is really cool. Man, that might be fine. I don't really even see what's wrong with it or where it went down. Scratch, scratch. I don't I don't know what's wrong with this. A new crash can be in showing up right now. Uh, we got a V-Rod, my favorite Harley ever made. The Cool Boulevard, a 390, had that. That's the new one though with the color screen. Love that thing. Another 959, Ducati Land, the ZX6R, the most balanced, awesome bike ever. Uh, another Ducati, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. One of the new naked monsters. Like, it's a pretty big monster. 
uh, a cool try on Bonneville. I'd love to have one of those because they're new fuel injection and like the cheapest thing you can buy. Yeah, it looks so old it's, school. Yeah, it looks old school and it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so it has like sneaky fuel injection hiding in these carbs. That is awesome. Yeah, so they, they say kind and they look like they're carbs, but fuel injection. Cool. It's really, really cool. And you can buy them for like a couple grand. It's like the coolest old looking bike. Yeah. Oh, a street twin, which I love. Man, there's so many cool triumphs here. That's the, uh, yeah, the street cup. I was gonna say the America, but it's not. Uh, another Ducati. We've got a, like a 696, 695 with a Termignani. Bike land is crazy here, dude. There's so much cool stuff. My favorite bike of all time the uh, old Daytona. We've got another monster with a Termignani over there. And an old school Goldwing. Probably needs its carbs rebuilt. A beautiful Pearl White 848. I need this. I have a Pearl White 1198 and my garage would look amazing with these two beside each other. Hey, what's wrong with this? I truly do not like 848s. They're like the slowest thing I ever rode in my life. Uh, but it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Unknown. The Lost Type Unknown got wet owner didn't like it because he got beat by a ninja 300 that's what that's how it got totaled uh, the ducati sport whatever they call that thing another monster ah diavel carbon edition no way that is the most beautiful termignani they ever ever made look at those wheels on the carbon edition i don't think i've even seen one in real life i honestly think that's the only one i've ever seen it's like 30 or thirty-five thousand dollars, i think for a carbon edition yeah yeah super rare How they've got the exhaust oh that exhaust is like 1500 to 2000. Wow. it's uh, full keyless so sick and they've got a quad lock for their phone which i like the quad lock a lot more than the ram oh it turned on <laughs> she booted up look at that color screen Oh, it's so sick. What a, yep. The key must be zip tied to it. That is the coolest thing here by far. And uh, a Grom that's fully stunted out. Big fan of the Grom that's stunted out. Okay, I think we made it through all 982 bikes. <laughs> Another one of the really expensive Indians here, like a Roadmaster or something with the baller screen and the heated seats. Pretty nice. This thing is a blast to ride. Yeah blast and we just happened to spot this one out of the very corner of our eye i was like there's some kind of old muscle car or something over there c2 corvette and man that's cool it's too bad that got totaled yeah, it, it used to be nice man yeah this could clearly be fixed just this, all that fiberglass work this was a really nice car right absolutely this. 63 everything's in there yeah man that's cool Somebody added the old Sun Pro temp gauge. It's like you're flying a plane in there. That's awesome. It is. Wow, that is really cool. Anyway, I think that's it. Make sure you're tuned in to Alex's video on legit street cars when that drops because uh, he found a really cool car, a nice new AMG with a story. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com where you can get cool shirts just like this. Wait, where's my shirt? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Also, I'll be here the whole week. We're going to work on cars all week. Oh yeah. That's any weird cars. Yeah. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Fun, <laughs> weird cars like this supercharged Suburban. Cause this is hilarious. All right. This thing is so out of gas. Well, it's, <laughs> oh, now it's not doing it. Every, I guess if you just hit the brakes, it'll die. Of course, of course, course. this time it doesn't do it. That was perfect. It's got no power though. There was a lean pop a second ago. Uh, I thought we were gonna push us into the gas station. We made it by the skin of our teeth. Oh. It almost tried to die right there. Yes. It's literally struggling so hard. <laughs> Man, the supercharged Suburban, we uh, we might have ran it a little low on the fuel. Well, so wait. it doesn't matter. Wait, wait till you see where the fuel pump is located. <laughs> and how you access it? I uh, love it. Now it's running perfect. Yeah, it is kind of weirdly running perfectly. I, we were going like downhill and we hit the brakes and it died twice in a row. And then uh, we turned a corner and it died. So we made it to a gas station. Please stay running. You can do it. I don't want to push it. I know what it weighs. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> we made it.